Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be looking at a few simple free mods that you can do to your FMS FCX18, the LC80, uh, to improve performance and also some upgrades that we can do. So let's jump straight in and I'll take you through them. So the first free mod we're going to look at is steering. So out of the box the steering's okay, but you know, there's not a massive amount of angle. So there's two simple mods you can do to get a lot more angle. So first thing, nice simple mod. Basically, all you need to do is there's a little screw here. You just need a 1.5mm hex driver. The screw is normally on the front, but here, on both sides. And then basically all you need to do is just unscrew it and just move it to the back. So you can see I've moved it to the back here and I've moved it to the back here. You can see that it would be touching. So you can see that's where the screw would be and it'll be hitting that point. But obviously if you, so it would stop about here and you'd lose that bit of steering angle. So moving that screw to the back means you get all of that extra steering angle. So that's your first mod you can do. Because it shares the axles with the FCX24, it's the same mod for the FCX24. So yeah, nice free mod just to give yourself some extra steering angle. Now the second free mod you can do is to do with your steering link. So the diff housing sticks out quite a bit. And with a stock steering link, when you turn, it hits that bit of the diff housing that's sticking out just by here. So a lot of people shave that plastic off and, and cut it down, but you don't need to do that. Just bend your steering link. It doesn't come that bent as standard. Basically, all I've done is just two screws to get it off the top and the bottom here just to undo the linkage. And then once the linkage is off, just get two pairs of pliers hold one either end and just give it a bit of a bend. It's stainless steel, so it's not gonna snap on you. You know, that's an incredible Hulk. But um, just basically just bend it with your pliers. Make sure you don't touch the rod ends when you're doing it, because you'll snap them. Um, but just get a pair of pliers by here, pair of pliers by here, bend it. And then once you've bent it, you can see that now we're not touching that diff housing. And obviously we've got full, well, as much steering lock as we can get, because obviously now we've moved those screws, we are touching the axle and we're not fouling on that diff housing. So just two simple mods just to give you a bit more steering straight out of the box. Free, easy to do. I mean, it literally takes a few minutes to do the steering link and like a few seconds to move the screws and get that extra steering angle. So that's your first two free mods. So the next mod is for the suspension. So out of the box, the suspension is a little bit stiff. Um, they are oil filled shocks. The springs are a little bit too hard. So, you know, you you don't have as as nice flex as you could have out of the box, to be honest. Well, some people have said about removing the springs. The problem with removing the springs is I tried it, but what I found was with the spring removed, the shock kind of binds up. Uh, and then, you know, probably fine if you're going to be rock crawling when you're doing a lot of flexing all the time and the axle's like constantly moving. Um, but for like trailing and stuff, which is what I generally kind of do more of, to be honest, it's just going to sag. Um, and then obviously once you start getting water and mud involved in there as well, it's just going to keep jamming up. You know, even just with the springs off and just on the bench, it was just a bit bindy because the spring kind of keeps the shock travel, you know, in the way that you want it to. Otherwise, the axle kind of pulls it side to side and it kind of drags. The only thing I've done is I've just taken them apart. On the actual shock body itself, you've got these adjustable collars. So the shock collars sit right at the top of the uh, shock tab here on the top of the spring. So obviously you can wind them up or down to obviously move your spring up and down, which would obviously adjust your preload on the spring. So, you know, as standard, the locking collar is going to be there. So you're just going to have a tiny bit more preload on the spring. So I just took the shocks apart, which is just simply a case of just popping them off the top and the bottom uh, and then just holding the shock shaft so you can undo the um, bottom mount. And then once you've got it off, just unwind the collar collar will just slide off, put the shocks back together, um, and all it really does is just take a bit of that preload away. Um, so it's effectively almost like shortening the um, the spring, I suppose. Um, and yeah, what I found is not a massive improvement, but it does seem to give it just a little bit more flex. You know, I'm not talking like massive amounts, but you know, when it's on the rocks, it just seems to just be helping it just a little bit. So, you know, it's another mod that you can give it a try and just see what you think. Then the first upgrade I've done is I fitted these Endura 1 inch plus wheels, uh, which are all brass, 42 grams a wheel, and then I've added on the Endura comp pin tires, which are 55 by 20 mil kind of comp pattern tire. Um, really nice, it's their S3 compound, nice and soft, nice and sticky. 
I was really happy with the performance of these tyres. Uh, I was running them on my FCX24 K5 Blazer, uh, but I thought I'd try them on the LC80. We'll hit the rocks in a minute so you can see how it performs, uh, but obviously it gives it a nice bit of low down weight, because obviously with it being a hard body, it is quite top heavy, so it gives you a bit more stability. It's also increased the wheel track. You can see the wheels are just sticking out from the arches just a little bit more. Um, you know, no real issues with um, clearance or anything like that. So that's the first upgrade I've done. And then visually, as you can see, I've added some stickers, I've made some accessories for the top, I've, I've got the barrel and the, and the sand ladders, but I've made myself a little roof box, um, made myself some little, you know, tarps and uh, some bed rolls and things like that. So, uh, yeah, just to give it a bit of character, I suppose. I like a trail rig. Uh, I think they look really cool. Uh, obviously, it adds the tiniest little bit of weight to the top. Not a lot, but the tiniest little bit of weight, but I just think it's worth it. I just think it looks awesome. Yeah, let me know what you think of the look in the comments. I'm really happy with it. I think with the way this truck looks, with the with the spotlights and the snorkel, you know, it's very much an off-roader. And, you know, you've got to have some accessories, you know, because you're going off-road, you need spares, you need stuff, you know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really nice. But let's get it out on the rocks. You can see how it performs. Uh, and then, obviously, you can see what you think. See those uh, wheels stopping it from tipping over. And see what our grip's like up here. Nice. Yeah, it does seem like the suspension's just working a little bit easier. It's not a massive difference because all we've done is, you know, make the spring, I suppose, a tiny bit shorter uh, and just take a bit of that preload off. Uh, but it does seem to have a slightly nicer movement. Uh, let's see what it's like coming out of the pit, just kind of working that suspension. Uh, obviously ground clearance is exactly the same as it was stock because the tyres are the same diameter as the stock tyres. Um, oh, bad angle there, that's my fault. You can definitely see that suspension I think is just moving a bit. You know, it's got a bit more kind of... Uh, Movement, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. Let's see what it's like coming out from here. Nice. Get off there. Yeah, that's a good wheel speed. And then we're going to try some different angles and just see, you know, with that extra weight, if we can pull off some different lines. Oh, almost lost it then. Nice. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, nice. see if I can climb up there. Nice, go on. Oh yes, that was awesome. You can see it's on a slope there as well, but that was really good. Happy with that. Still a bit top heavy. I 
think with all that extra weight of the brass wheels, we've lost a little bit of wheel speed in first gear and it uh, doesn't quite have the same punch it had before just to push us over that ridge. Second gear we'd be able to do it, but you can see it just kind of like gets caught. Whereas if we come back, pop in second gear. Yay, there we go. Pop back in the first. Oh, I just caught it before we rolled down. Oh, bump clearance. Yeah, I think that suspension is working a little bit nicer than it was before. Like I said, it's not a massive difference, uh, but I think, you know, you can see on the rear, especially the front still seems quite stiff to be fair, but um, the rear definitely, you know, I think it's got a bit more flex in the rear. Let's just see what it's like coming down as well, because that's the kind of normal test we do on stock wheels and tires. So let's see how it does the brass. Nice, didn't think we'd make that. You know, I think overall I'm happy with that. Obviously the biggest difference is really was the steering. Um, obviously having the different wheels and tyres gives us a bit more low down weight. Uh, you know, I do like the grip on these comp pin tyres. Um, to be fair, comparing to the stock tyres, it actually shows you the stock tyres aren't actually that bad. So, uh, you know, that's one kind of for the stock tyres, I would say, and they, are perform, they do perform pretty well. Um, you know, I found these comp pin tyres on the FCX24 were even better. I think with this rig being a bit heavier, you know, it, it has to work it a bit harder. Um, but yeah, anyway, really happy with wheels and tyres. You know, suspension, I think we still need to work on the suspension, to be honest. I think, uh, you know, it'd be nice if we can get it flexing a bit nicer. Uh, but I am, you know, I'm happy with, uh, with how it's moving at the moment. Uh, I'm really happy with the look. Yeah, I'm a sucker for accessories, so I just think, you know, with the stickers and with the roof rack and all the little accessories I've done, you know, really happy with the kind of trail truck kind of look. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't seem to be negatively impacting the rig too much. Uh, they're only light accessories, obviously, so it's nothing like, you know, super heavy or anything. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, but anyway, I hope you found that useful. Uh, drop me a comment if you've got any questions. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.